And welcome back Le Bon Vie Champagne TV members. This month we discuss the range of cuvées produced by Amazon looking at the extremes of output by their number of champagnes and the number of cuvées produced. The Grand Marks or the big houses are fairly consistent across the board with the range of cuvées that they produce. Generally you'll see the range include a Blanc de Blanc, a non-vintage cuvée which is the flagship of the house, a vintage which is a wine from one year, a rosé, a prestige cuvée, which is the top of the line. So for example, a Sir Winston Churchill for Paul Roger or a Cristal for Rodoa, and potentially a demi-sec, which is sometimes called ice. There is much greater variation in the number of cuvées produced by growers as they are not bound by market expectations to conform. For example, there are growers like Charlotte Tonneau who produce 11 different cuvées from a tiny six hectare plot of land. At the other extreme, there are a handful of producers who concentrate their efforts on a single cuvée. Now, although this is quite unusual, it does happen. And this is the focus for this month's Le Bon Vie Champagne Learnings. The hero champagne for any producer is the non-vintage cuvée. And traditionally, the success of a winemaker is in achieving an exacting consistency of style from one year to another. And this has been the measure for them to hang their hat on. So single cuvee producers most commonly will release the non-vintage wine, which is the blend of this year's harvest with a varying percentage of still wines from previous year's harvests, their reserve wines. Two producers that we know of that focus on only one cuvee are the Maison Manure and another small producer, Arbomont, which is actually released or made by the Volero family. There are actually a huge number of landholders within the Champagne region who all own a part of this incredible appellation. The average land holding by most of these families is actually less than three hectares, which is surprising for some of us. Some of these families have enough fruit for possibly only one or maybe two cuvee styles. This is assuming that they're not selling their fruit to the big guys, the big producers, or a cooperative. Now, it could be a trial or a foray into the production of champagne after many years of families selling their grapes to the Grand Marks to satisfy their large demands, or a single cuvee could be all that the Maison desires to produce. Whatever the reason, you should know that all of the winemaker's concentration has gone into producing this one cuvee and that this single cuvee from the house has a dedicated focus. Most examples of single cuvee producers that I have seen have been excellent. But for our connoisseurs this month, we have two sensational, very well made and very rare champagnes for you to enjoy. Now the whole point of the club is to source champagnes that are difficult for you to procure and the club is true to that mission this month. Only recently available in Australia is Champagne Manure 88, available at a premium price and in very, very limited quantities. Our second cuvee is Champagne Arbomont, which is a champagne that's been commissioned by Francophile Sally Arnold, who interestingly is based in Australia. Both wines have striking branding. The Manure is a handmade bottle, made one by one, with a sexy glazed black painted bottle, a bespoke mousselet at the top, and this lovely impressed metal label. It is a true statement of luxury. And Arbomont, our other champagne, has this elegant art deco design with a lovely raised font and gold features, and both bottles are stunning. Both wines are very premium, not only in their packaging, but also in their contents. Now Manure, this is a single cuvee produced by winemaker Maxence Caron. The vineyard is situated in the prestige Grand Cru village of Cramont. A number of prestige cuvees and top vintages take their fruit from this prized village of Champagne. And given the location of the vines in Cramont, which is situated in the Côte de Blanc region, it's famous here for its Chardonnay. There is, of course, uh, no question that he would produce 
an amazing 100% Chardonnay wine or a Blanc de Blanc. Now the wine is an extra brut, very low level of dosage with just an addition of six grams per litre, but the wine is not austere. It spent a very generous four and a half years on lees, aging in the cellar, rounding out the cuvee and providing it with a silky smooth approach and a very voluminous and luscious mouthfeel. Cuvee Menor 88, uh, the name in fact, has meaning to the family. Menor was actually the name of the horse who used to plough the vineyards for the family for many years. And when he passed away, they named the cuvee in his honour. The 88, its significance is for winemaker Maxence, who was born on the 8th of the 8th in 1988. So a young winemaker within the region. The family has in fact owned the land since 1902, but Maxence has reinvigorated the brand, creating this exciting new cuvee, super chic packaging, and no doubt this will really excite the champagne connoisseur. And I'll be watching carefully to see what else he produces in the future. The wine is a very bright yellow straw colour with a very energetic mousse. It has a really exuberant aroma with preserved lemon citrus, pure minerality and very lifted floral notes. It has more intense aromas of nuts and baked breads starting to fill the glass, starting to overtake the wine after it has spent some time in the glass opening up and warming, warming up. It's an outstanding representation of the Cremont region and worth every penny. The, low dose, the light dosage has allowed for an elegant spine of acidity to keep the structure and the poise of the cuvee. And the wine has excellent length, giving me very fond memories minutes after sipping, showing the focus of the cuvee, which is super impressive. Our other producer this month is Arbomont. And this is actually produced, made by quality family grower Volero, who own a sizable 40 hectares of land, producing almost even proportions of the three grapes within their vineyards, which is also reflected in the proportions in this cuvee, with a third of each of the grapes, the Chardonnay, the Pinot Noir and the Meunier. The Volero family are now six generations of winemakers and in my opinion, a really quality producer. The cuvee from Arbomont is mid-golden in colour and with an equal mid-power of aroma with crunchy red apple, pear, some subtle spice and some even more subtle notes of minerality. This champagne for me is a crowd pleaser and something that I would serve to my friends and my family on a weekend afternoon. It's very well made and a very well integrated dosage that isn't perceptible in the wine, but I believe it to be about eight grams per litre. And this could easily be my house staple champagne. Both champagnes this month are smart, well constructed and really deserve a place on your table. The extremes in production of champagne from the 25 million plus to the Cle from the Clico house to the tiny 60,000 bottles of manure show the full colour and character of the region of Champagne. We hope you appreciate the rarity of both the champagnes that we have provided for you this month and given that neither are widely available, if you would prefer extra champagne, we are happy to supply for you. Just write us a note at info at lbvchampagneclub.com. Thank you very much for joining us again this month. We hope you enjoy the, the champagnes and goodbye for now.